everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Marina. If you're new here, then hello and welcome. Hope you're having a really good day today. So, in today's video, we are going to be using the Morphe, what's it called? Such a Gem 39S palette. It is this beautiful palette full of pinks and purples. Um, so, I have created this eye look today. Um, and I have used the P. Louise Vivid Violet base because I really, really wanted to use this and I really, really love it. So if you would like to see how I got this eye look, then keep on watching. If you like beauty videos, I post two a week, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And also if you have liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. That would be great. Without further ado, let's jump in. So... This is the Morphe 39S, such a gem palette, if I can open her, and it is just absolutely stunning, I've wanted this for such a long time, so yeah, let's just literally crack on, so I'm going to be priming the eyes, I'll zoom in a Tinsy, tinsy bit more. My camera makes a terrible noise when it's zoomed in, um, so I'm really sorry about that. That's why we can't zoom in too much. I'm going to prime using the P. Louise base in the shade 2, so you only need a really small amount of this on each eye, and you want to pat this into the skin until it kind of turns matte and then that's when you know base is ready to go let's start with a bit of a transition shade so i am going to take this lovely light pinky purple shade here and just pop this in the crease I will be taking it quite high up because I want that to be the shade where everything is like blown out and blended out too. So that shade is on really really nicely and the brush I just used then it's just a spec brush the name's dropped off but I'll have it on the screen and then on a smaller Real Techniques brush I am gonna take this gorgeous hot raspberry pink over here on a smaller brush and then just pop that through the crease So I just wanted to really focus on getting that round shape so now that that's it I'm just going to use that same brush and just really lightly tickle around the edges just to get that blended out and you can go back in with that lighter pink that we used earlier just to help the blending process but I'm just going to use what's left on my brush for now and see how we get on and then we can add a little bit more of the lighter pink shortly. I'm going to take a really light amount of that lighter pink and then just tickle the edges just to really make sure that the pink is blended out and that we have a nice gradient. And now let's deepen things up with a purple. So I'm going to firstly start off with this purple here and then I will be taking the darker one here. So let's find a little brush. I'm just going to use this small little techniques brush with that first shade that I pointed out. So 
just like so and then I'm just taking the brush we used earlier for the pink and then again just above the purple just slowly tickling around the edges so we've got a really nice gradient there so now that is what we're looking like at the minute and I am just going to take a little bit of this pink shade down here on a small pencil brush and I am going to just pop a little bit of this kind of in between that purple and that pink and I'm just tapping this like tapping them to blend it out so we're going to add a little bit of colour not too much though like we're just literally trying to blend like tap to blend that colour's a little bit like more pastel just going to take a little bit more of the purple did that blend not sure that works so just taking that one again and just tickling it out taking a little bit more of that like hot pink shade because I really want the pink to be quite vibrant I cannot also get this to blend out very well so um yeah I'm having a really hard time getting the purple to actually stick to this lid I don't know if my lids are really dry because it did feel a bit funny earlier so I mean it's not terrible but it's not like what I really love and what I would like so we're gonna persevere anyway you know it's fine what I am gonna do, oh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna take a little bit of this sparkly black here, just on a small brush again, and I'm just gonna kind of try and deepen up this outer corner here because I just wanna make it a little bit more like smoky. That back's really pigmented actually. Yeah, for some reason, purple's just not sticking. Don't know if I didn't put enough base on, or if it's the shadows, or if my um, eyelids are being funny because they were, like, like I said, a little bit like sore earlier. So I'm not too sure what's going on, but I'm gonna try and still make this work because I don't want to like done all this for nothing and then I'm just gonna take a little bit of the purple just to try blend this out I'm really sorry for the noise outside like people in their gardens doing their gardening living their best quarantine lives I'm going to use the Vivid Violet P. Louise base. I have got a lot of other videos where I do cut my crease. Um, so I will link those down below. But just because of time and everything, I am just going to go off camera. Or I'll just do like one on camera. But I always go out of focus anyway because I lean in. But yeah, I will. I'll do one on camera and then I'll turn it off and do the other one. But this ooh, looks really nice and to cut my crease I use the NOSH MUA Nicole brush this is the 
best brush I have found to cut the crease. It is absolutely amazing. So I just like to kind of coat the brush like so. Okay, I have got both on. They're not even, don't hate me. Can't cope today. Neighbours are being so loud and I just can't cope with it, okay? So once the base is on, let me just zoom in a little bit more. You just want to kind of pat the edge so there isn't any harsh line. And then we are gonna, I'm gonna go back in with the black shade. Just a chintzy, tiny, tiny bit, just to re-intensify that. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that darker purple shade we used earlier and then just tap this on. Yeah, I think it's this purple shade. like. It really does not want to take it on a different brush and just see. Okay, yeah, that's gone on a little better. What I do is I want to take a little bit of a Barium Lid Topper. I'm going to take the shade Stardust, which is this beautiful shade here. And then from the Morphe palette, I will be taking this beautiful iridescent purpley shade there. Really like that base, like even on its own, like you don't really need to add anything. But I do want to add the barium just for a little bit of sparkle and pizzazz. So I just take a brush and just pop the product on the brush and then I'm just gonna oh this one's drying up girl just gonna pat this on top oh she's really pretty look at her yeah this one's definitely drying up I really need to get a new one So it's just added a little bit of a holographic tint. Look how lovely that is. That noise is really distressing. If my neighbours could shut them up, that would be great. I'm gonna not shut my window. Sweet Jesus. That noise is very off-putting. Okay, so now that beautiful shade is on and we have a little bit of silence. I'm just gonna take that shade. It might be better on my finger actually. Oh pretty. Oh yeah, much better on the finger. Just gonna tap that. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that. Dual chrome. I'll zoom in so you can see a little better. How stunning is that? So, what I'm gonna do is put on some black. Liner. This is the So Cool Glory Smolder Coal in black. Um, just popping this on the waterline here, and then I'm gonna pop on some mascara, and then I am going to put some lashes on, which are these lashes from eBay or AliExpress. 
So let me go and pop on some mascara, pop on the lashes, then I'll be back and we'll do underneath in the inner corner. <sighs> Finally got these lashes to stick after seven hours. So let's do the lower lash line before they decide to unstick ones. So let's choke. Mm. Let's take a little bit of this shimmery shade here and then also a little bit of this bigger shimmery one and we'll pop that. So starting with the darker matte shade I'll just pop this on the very outer corner here. I do not like fallout. And then I'll take a little bit of that shimmery shade and then just run that underneath. I definitely feel like the shimmery shades work a lot better on your finger rather than on a brush, but that's just me here. I'll pop a little bit of that just on the brow bone just to add a little bit of shimmer there and finally that's the eye complete I'm just gonna go throw a lip on and then I will come back zoom in and show you the finished look hi everyone so this is the finished look I really hope that you enjoyed I will do some close-ups in a moment but if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up it will mean a lot to me and if you haven't subscribed already what are you waiting for it's on what side it is hit the button whatever side it is <laughs> so yeah that was the word um yeah if you could subscribe it will mean a lot to me so thank you so so much I have done my base in a separate video which will probably be up after this eye look so make sure you're subscribed so you get to see that when it comes out and that's all so i hope you have a lovely day and i will see you next time bye